Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys four ways how you can get, or four things that, more specifically, four things that you need in order to get your clients and customers to stay more committed to your program. So something I get asked on a regular basis from a lot of coaches that I speak to and when I start working with is a lot of them ask me, Leo, how can I charge more for my services? How can I get my customers to commit for longer? And how can I transition away from the paper session where they're just showing up, paying on the day, going home? How can I transition them from, from that model into something which is more long-term where they're paying you for a three, six, or 12-month commitment? So the thing that I'm going to share with you today are four things that you need, four things that are fundamental, and four things that I want you to write down and make note of. So the first one is you have to have a professional sales process when you're looking to close customers into your training business. So most coaches out there in today's industry do not have a sales process in place. The average coach has a process where a client or, or a potential prospect reaches out to them either through a Instagram direct message, a Facebook ad, or some type of form of maybe text messaging or through the website. So that customer has reached out to them and instead of booking a call with them or get, and getting, getting that prospect on a call where they can qualify them, what co most coaches are doing is they're going back and forth with customers. So they're going back and forth with parents to the point where they're sending through the cost of the of the training session and they're, they're showing parents what it costs per hour. So a customer or a parent has shown interest in the program. They've sent a message through. That coach has now texted that parent back with the price per session okay big mistake because what parents are going to then do is they're going to base your program not off value but off price and what they're going to do most likely is they'll shop around for the cheapest option so what you want to do now in order to get parents qualified and to get them into your program and closing them on a longer term commitment, you need to have a process where they're showing interest in your program and you're closing them on a five to 10 minute call where you can ask them good questions, qualify them, and then invite them into a trial session to see if they are a good fit for your program. Now, the second one is you've got to package your training offer correctly. Most coaches, as I mentioned, they don't have a proper package in place. So when I say package, it means essentially what is included in your program. Is it four training sessions per month? What else are they getting aside from high quality training? Do they get accountability? Do they get an online resource that they can go through when, we're, when they're not at your sessions? So what else of value are you providing to the parents and players that you're looking to work with so they can look at your program and say, do you know what? Wow, like this is extreme amount of value. This is something that I need and this is something that I want for my child. And in order for my child to get results, we know that we've got to be committed to this program for three, six or 12 months. Okay, so you've got to package your program correctly. You've got to make sure that it adds extreme amounts of value and you've got to make sure that the parent is qualified for your service. Now, the third one is make your commit your minimum commitments longer. So instead of selling a block of five, six, seven sessions up front, why don't you go with the minimum commitment to join our program is three months? Okay. 
Now, if you don't want to say three months, you could say 12 sessions, okay, so, or 12 weeks. Right? So making your minimum commitments longer means that parents know that this isn't just a one-off thing. It's something that we have to stick to for a long-term result, okay? So take whatever you're currently doing. So if you're selling a block of 10 sessions, transition that into making it a little bit longer and moving that into a 12-week commitment so that over the course of three months, you're seeing your clients once a week and they have to stick with you for three months, okay? So make your minimum commitment longer so that parents who are looking to join your program know that, right, this is a longer-term type of commitment in order for my child to get results. Now, the fourth one is highlight the previous results that you've obtained with old customers or current customers. So by doing this, Okay, and a great strategy that you can use in order to do this is getting parents on a five to 10 minute Zoom call where you can be face to face with them and where you can share testimonials with them. So you can share the screen with them and show them, right, this is where the player that we worked with was at when they first joined the program. This is where they currently got to. Okay? And it could be video testimonials, it could be Google reviews, but just social proof to show that your program works, that your coaching works, and that you obtain great results with the customers that you work with. Okay? If you need more help, visit the description below. I'm currently working with coaches one-on-one, -on -one. so if you need one-on-one -on -one help, you can... First of all, the first thing you need to do is book a free 25-minute uh, consultation with me. So if you visit the description below, there's going to be a link where you can book a free call. So this is a call where we jump on Zoom together. I can ask you some questions and I can qualify you to see if you are the right fit to get my personal one-on-one -on -one help. Okay, so don't stay stuck with your business. If you feel like you've already got a business, you've got customers that you're currently working with. So if you're working with anywhere between one to 15 customers and you're struggling to take your business to the next level, you're struggling to charge more for your, for your program, okay, get my one-on-one -on -one help. But the first thing you need to do is visit the description below. There's going to be a link, book a call with me. I'll qualify you, see if you're the right fit. We'll get on Zoom. I'll ask you some questions. And if you are, then we can move on to the next step and looking to work together. Okay. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.